YouTube, this is Jared from Omnivore Blade Works. It is November 18th, 2016, and I want to give you a shop update. I've got some camp hatchets and an axes that are in, in progress, almost done. You know, basically I've got almost everything that's 1095 Cerakoted and uh, put the logos put on them. So that means Anubis Tomahawks in shadow camo, multicam, solid gray and black, and some also some really cool um, SOCOM blue and black camo. I really like the way it looks in the sunlight, but you can't tell in the dark if it's black or blue, which is kind of fun. Um, and then I've also got some double or two-tone green. You see those guys. Kind of, it's a Highland green on top of OD green, um, and then there's the Tanuki Wakasaji. I've got one, two, three of those in 1095, and I have one with a sub hilt that's 01. And this is the what was going to be the Corvid 2 Smatch it, and this shares the handle with my Horribilis sword, and of course this Tanuki sword. Um, so I've got a few of these, but I never, I never worked on the sheath. So I did some cut testing with this on some wood, and it just didn't, didn't impress me. But it'd be a great battle battle blade. Um, it's got a big fuller in it, and it's got a pretty strong point. And they're all nickel plated, and then they also have the SoCom blue Cerakote on top. So those will be available if if somebody wants me to 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 work on them. I could probably get them out of here. Um, I, I really do like this uh, Bowie knife that I call Jim. You may have seen those before. I've, I've sold two. But you see it's kind of like a mini Kodiak. And it has the Bowie knife hilts. False edge. And then it's got the multiple geom or point geometry so that you maintain the strength in the point. Um, I wish I planned my videos better. Sorry about this. But anyway, we've got some stuff that is about imminently ready. Uh, ETA Tomahawks, 3B Ultralights, Anubis Tomahawks, and Kodiaks. And then these little guys will be... I just need to do some sheath work on them. I have the jigs made for the Koala and the Kawati. I have sheath jigs for the Ravens and the Parvis, so that's just a matter of putting that time in to make sheaths. But I don't have the sheath jig for the Hungry Possum yet. These two guys, or the uh, the Worker Warncliffe, so need to work on those at some point, so I can get those out ready to, to ship. And I have a stack of the Havelina tools and the original pry bar configuration or chisel bar. And then I also have the box, original box cutter model, which is kind of a simplistic little knife. And I have the uh, second generation box cutter, various colors. And, you know, these, I have the sheath figured out for this guy, but I don't have them for this, any of these. So that's going to be more work. And then there's... Plenty of Bowie, Americanus Bowies, the original sheath, our original profile. I have sheath jigs for this. It's Molly compatible, um, so you can carry it or vertical or horizontal on standard Molly webbing. And then I'm going to have this one black wide, uh, wide bladed version will be available. And then this green one is spoken for. Then I have the murder. And murder two um, gladius swords. If you've seen those before, um, they have fullers. They're really incredibly awesome and sharp, dangerous swords. Uh, I'm getting ready. I got to make more handles, and I have to do some sharpening, and I have to make some finish up some sheath work, and then all these things are going to be pretty much ready to ship. Um, my uh, dust collector through a bearing or something so it's shutting itself off because there's too much load on the motor so I have to fix that 
which means I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I can't really use much of my equipment without the dust collector. Um, this is the, what I'll work on after the weather turns cold and I can focus on grinding again. Or actually, like, whenever I get this other work done. And this is a uh, ETA Tomahawk that I was playing with outside and left it out, you know, just stuck in a tree for a couple weeks. It hasn't rained, but the Cerakote does a pretty good job of protecting against corrosion even after you wear it off a little bit. So, I'm also working up a batch of larger 1095 pieces. Um, these two Kodiaks and this, I'm going to convert this into a gigantic chef's knife. I'm going to cut it off the cut off the brook hook portion so it'll be more like a big watermelon knife. And then there's some long things down there that I'm going to convert into two-handed swords. Um, they were just a silly experiment. And then there'll be a couple more of these wakasajis, more traditional looking with the modern handles. Um, and then the ABL, we got mini chef's knives and we got full size chef's knives. Just all kinds of different things that are in the works before really I can. And, and of course, I'm also going to be focusing on grinding the 3V blades. As soon as I get some more uh, cleanup and, and, and things shipped out in the armory, so we'll have a hidden tang version of the Horribilis with a wide blade, and then there's this one one three V Horribilis that's going to a guy who ordered verbally ordered this probably six years ago. And I just never got around to it, which is ridiculous, but that's the way it goes. Um, Americanus hidden tang. And this will be the unkindness short sword with a hidden tang. And there's also some tontos and then the raven. Which will have a hidden uh, handle and also one that will have a threaded pommel that I can put a nice piece of stainless steel or titanium on and it'll be a really fancy, fancy uh, dagger. Anyway, um, I guess that wraps it up for now and I will get back to you next time. Happy Thanksgiving.